Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trupti and this is my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. If you find the content on this channel useful, please subscribe, like and share the videos. In the video lecture series on thyroid gland, in the previous video we have studied about thyroid hormone synthesis, secretion and its regulation. In this second part, we are going to learn about mechanism of action of thyroid hormones and their functions. Thyroid hormones are group 1 hormone and their action is similar to steroid hormones. They act by binding with the intracellular receptors. Intracellular receptors belong to nuclear receptor superfamily which also includes estrogen receptor, vitamin D receptors, retinoic acid receptor and retinoid X receptor. There are two mechanisms by which thyroid hormones can act. First is genomic and the other is non-genomic. The genomic pathway directly influences a gene transcription and further translation while the non-genomic pathway involves more rapid cellular changes because they do not require transcription and translation. So the genomic pathway is a nuclear pathway and non-genomic pathway is extra nuclear pathway. This non-genomic pathway, the site of this non-genomic thyroid hormone action is through plasma membrane, cytoplasm or mitochondria and it includes regulation of ion channels and oxidative phosphorylation and it involves activation of intracellular secondary messengers like cyclic MP or protein kinase signaling pathway. The genomic pathway of thyroid hormone action includes thyroid hormone receptors which are abbreviated as THR or TR. There are two human TR genes, alpha and beta. Alpha receptor gene is located on chromosome 17 while beta receptor gene is located on chromosome 3. There are various isoforms of this thyroid receptor alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1 and beta 2. Alpha 1, beta 1 and beta 2 they are predominantly responsible for mediating thyroid hormone action which is critical for normal development, growth and metabolism and alpha 2 is present in brain. T3 binds more rapidly and avidly with the thyroid receptors and that's why it is more potent than T4. So this thyroid hormone receptor TR it has ligand binding domain where the thyroid hormone binds to this ligand binding domain. It also has DNA binding domain with two zinc finger motifs and with the help of this DNA binding domain it binds to the thyroid response element. It is the hormone response element present on the DNA. It is the short DNA sequence within the promoter of a gene which is capable of binding to specific hormone receptor complexes and regulating transcription. In addition to this ligand binding domain and DNA binding domain, this thyroid receptor also has trans activation domain. And to this trans activation domain, the co-repressor is bound and this transcription complex is repressed. And when this transactivation domain is bound to activator, the transcription is activated. This is schematic representation of a cell having nucleus. This is DNA with thyroid response element and to this thyroid response element, the thyroid receptor binds with the help of DNA binding domain having two zinc finger motifs. And this thyroid receptors, it forms heterodimer with retinoid X receptor. However, this thyroid receptor can bind to this thyroid response element as monomer or homodimer but binding with the retinoid X receptor and forming heterodimer it is the most common presentation. So when this trans activation domain is bound to co-repressor, this co-repressor can be NCOR1 or NCOR2 that is nuclear receptor co-repressor 1 and nuclear receptor co-repressor 2. So when this trans activation domain is bound to the co-repressor in absence of thyroid hormone, the transcription is repressed. Now let's see what happens in presence of thyroid hormones. So this is the blood vessel where the thyroid hormones are present in the circulation and both T3 and T4 they are transported inside the cell with the help of monocarboxylate transporter and most common is monocarboxylate 8 transporter. So when both T4 and T3 they are transported inside the cell, T4 is converted to T3 by the action of enzyme 5' deiodinase and the action of thyroid hormone is 
by this T3 hormone. So when this T3 hormone binds with this ligand binding domain present on the thyroid receptor, what happens? This co-repressor is released from the transactivation domain and instead it is bound to co-activator that is N-co-activator 1. And in this way, the transcription is activated, the messenger RNA is transcribed and it is then transported from the nucleus into cytosol and further through the process of translation, protein is synthesized. So this is the mechanism of action of thyroid hormone. Now let's study the functions or effects of thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones increases the basal metabolism in almost all the cells of body. This T3 increases protein synthesis and in turn increases synthesis of various enzymes and overall cell function. There is increase in the sodium potassium ATPase activity which increases body's metabolic rate. There is also increase in the number and activity of mitochondria and other mitochondrial enzymes also. And in turn, there is increase in the oxygen consumption, increased BMR, increased body's heat. So this explains the calorigenic action of thyroid hormones. And as there is increase in the enzyme synthesis, there is increase in the need of vitamins because vitamins are coenzymes and these thyroid hormones, they are required for hepatic conversion of carotene to vitamin A. So in case of hypothyroidism, carot carotene is not able to convert into uh, vitamin A and there is deposition of carotene and it leads to keratinemia. This keratinemia gives yellowish tint to the skin color, but it is different from jaundice because sclera is not affected in the keratinemia. Thyroid hormone affects all metabolism, carbohydrate metabolism, lipid metabolism as well as protein metabolism. So, what are the effects of thyroid hormones on carbohydrate metabolism? Thyroid hormone increases the absorption of glucose from the gut. It also increases insulin dependent entry of glucose into the cells. It increases the process of gluconeogenesis that is synthesis of new glucose from non-carbohydrate precursors as well as there is increase in glycogenolysis that is breakdown of glycogen to glucose. Thyroid hormones affect the lipid metabolism by increasing lipolysis that is breakdown of TAG into that is triacylglycerol into fatty acid and glycerol and there is increased mobilization of fatty acid from the adipose tissue. It leads to increased fatty acid in the circulation and also increase in beta oxidation in some cells. But the cholesterol level is inversely related to thyroid level. So whenever there is decreased cholesterol level, uh, decreased cholesterol level is seen in hyperthyroidism and increased cholesterol level is seen in hypothyroidism which means that hypothyroidism is associated with hypercholesterolemia. So let's see the biochemical basis of this hypercholesterolemia in hypothyroidism. What happens usually thyroid hormone activate the enzyme 7 alpha hydroxylase which is responsible for uh, metabolism or catabolism of cholesterol that is conversion of cholesterol into bile acids. So this thyroid hormone increases the cholesterol secretion in the bile and consequent loss in the feces and thus it decreases the cholesterol level. It also induces the numbers of LDL receptors on the liver cells so that the LDL can be rapidly removed from the plasma by the liver and thus the thyroid hormones will decrease the cholesterol level but in case of hypothyroidism there is decrease in the thyroid level and both the mechanisms are depressed which leads to increased cholesterol level and that's how there is hypercholesterolemia in hypothyroidism because the now the there is decreased activity of uh, 7 alpha hydroxylase as well as there is decrease in the number of LDL receptors. Thyroid hormone affects both protein anabolism that is synthesis as well as catabolism that is degradation. So it maintains the protein metabolism. It is a anabolic hormone which promote growth and development, increase amino acid transport across the cell. It also increases protein synthesis but its increased concentration also activate protein degradation that is negative nitrogen balance. So overall thyroid hormone will maintain the protein metabolism. The effects of thyroid hormone on central nervous system includes development of central nervous system in infancy and early childhood. 
it initiate and facilitate the process of differentiation and maturation of brain cells development of synaptic connections neurotransmitter synthesis it also regulate speed and amplitude of stretch reflexes the growth of cerebral and cerebellar cortices and basal ganglia is also mediated with the help of thyroid hormones myelination of neurons memory learning and intellectual capacities are also influenced by thyroid hormones so if there is deficiency of thyroid hormone during infancy it leads to irreversible retardation in cns development which further leads to mental retardation thyroid hormones increase the rate of metabolism heat production increase heart rate and neuromuscular functions and all these effects are similar to the effects of sympathetic stimulation now how this thyroid hormones lead to these effects of sympathetic stimulation first by synergizing the metabolic effects of catecholamines like increased lipolysis gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis then thyroid hormones also increase the expression and sensitivity of uh, beta receptors to catecholamines in heart skeletal muscles and adipose tissue as well as t3 also increases the production of thermogenin which is partly responsible for thermogenic action of catecholamines now how thyroid hormones affect respiratory system there is increased oxygen utilization by the tissues which increases the demand for oxygen and that's why there is increase in rate of respiration minute ventilation ventilatory response to the hypercapnia and hypoxia which leads to increase arterial partial pressure of uh, oxygen and increase supply of oxygen to the tissues what are the effects of thyroid hormones on cardiovascular system there are direct effects as well as indirect effects so what are the direct effects so direct effects are on beta receptor number so there is increase in beta receptor numbers and their sensitivity in the sa node to catecholamines and it leads to tachycardia that is increase in the heart rate and other direct effect is thyroid hormones leads to activation of alpha myosin heavy chain beta receptors g protein sarcoplasmic calcium atipase in the cardiac muscle which further leads to increase myocardial contractility and increase stroke volume so these are the direct effects that is tachycardia as well as increase myocardial contractility now the indirect effects there is increase in the body metabolism which leads to increase in the body temperature there is decreased diastolic pressure due to decreased peripheral resistance and there is decrease after load so together all this mechanism leads to increase in the cardiac output and that's why in the hyperthyroidism there is tachycardia and in the hypothyroidism there is bradycardia thyroid hormones have profound effect on growth and development thyroid hormones are essential for normal growth and musculoskeletal maturation they promote expression of gene for growth hormone in somatotrophs of anterior pituitary they stimulate linear growth of bones endochondral ossification maturation of epiphyseal bone centers thyroid hormones enhance the activity of chondrocyte in the cartilage increase osteoid activity and bone remodeling so in total it increase thyroid hormones increase the growth and development so in case of hypothyroid children bone growth is slowed and epiphyseal closure is delayed so there are two types of dwarfism one is due to the lack of growth hormone that is pituitary dwarf where uh, this dwarfism is associated with the normal intelligence and in case of hypothyroidism that is cretinism dwarfism is associated with the mental retardation what are the effects of thyroid hormone on git reproduction muscles and skin so in the git thyroid hormone stimulate gastrointestinal motility it increases appetite as well as carbohydrate absorption and that's why increased thyroid level they are associated with diarrhea because of increased gi motility and hypothyroidism that is decrease in thyroid hormone level is associated with constipation now in women uh, it affects the reproductive system and it increases the follicular maturation and ovulation and 
in male it affects the sp spermatogenesis so thyroid hormone increases spermatogenesis and that's why the hypothyroidism in women is associated with menorrhagia or polymenorrhea and infertility as well as hyperthyroidism is associated with oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea now the effects on muscle there is increased expression of myosin heavy chain gene and there is increased protein catabolism and that's why in hypothyroidism muscles become sluggish and hypothyroidism is associated with muscle weakness and fine muscle tremor in skin thyroid hormones increases the cutaneous blood flow and it maintains the eccrine gland secretion that is sweat secretion and that's why if there is decreased thyroid level there is decreased uh, sweat secretion and it leads to dry skin brittle nails and also loss of hair due to decreased cutaneous blood flow and hyperthyroidism it is associated with the facial flushing now let's summarize today's topic that is mechanism of action of thyroid hormones and their functions thyroid hormones belong to group 1 hormone and their action is similar to steroid hormones they act on the intracellular receptors and uh, specifically the nuclear receptor that is the thyroid receptor the thyroid hormones they are transported inside the cell by monocarboxylate transporter where thyro thyroxine is converted to t3 by action of enzyme 5 prime d iodinase now this t3 binds to the ligand binding domain of thyroid receptor and uh, which is bound uh, which is also bound to the coactivator on the transactivation domain and uh, the process of transcription is activated there is formation of messenger rna which is transported to the cytosol and by translation there is protein synthesis so there is increase in the protein synthesis increase in overall cell metabolism so there is increase in the number of mitochondria increase in sodium potassium atpase oxygen consumption is increased glucose absorption gluconeogenesis glycogenolysis is increased increase lipolysis increase protein synthesis and increase bmr are the other metabolic effects of thyroid hormone on the cvs it leads to increase cardiac output increase tissue blood flow heart rate heart strength and respiration is also increased it is also play a play very important role in the cns development uh, particularly during infancy and childhood it is very important for growth and development of bones and it also affects many other systems like git reproductive system muscle the respiratory system skin as well as kidney in the kidney there is increased blood flow and gfr there is increased tubular reabsorption of electrolytes glucose and water which leads to increased blood volume so this is about the mechanism of action of thyroid hormones and their effects on various cells and organs of the body in the next video that is part 3 of thyroid gland we will study about disorders of a thyroid function that is hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism thank you for watching and happy learning